Hello everyone and welcome back to Monsters of the Mind. As always, I'm your host Mr. G. Today, we're talking about one of the most famous monsters. It's the flaming bird itself, known as the Phoenix. No, not Phoenixes, the Phoenix. Phoenix has a debatable meaning. Some people think it means palm tree, others think that it's a simil- the other people think it's like a synonym for griffin. And some people think that phoenix is actually a synonym for a type of color. Despite modern media making them seem like a species, according to mythology, there was only ever one phoenix at a time. It was considered benevolent, it lived in North Africa, and it comes from Greek mythology. The phoenix is often described as being a large, colorful bird that is that is usually seen with flames jetting out of its body at all times. The phoenix is described as having a lifespan of roughly 500 years, and when it approached the end of its life, it would gather up a bunch of twigs and other kindling, and then burn itself alive, turning into a pile of ashes. From there, a new phoenix would emerge, wrap the previous ashes in myrrh, and dispose of them at the Temple of the Sun in Egypt as the cycle continued. Interestingly, much like griffins, phoenixes actually haven't appeared in that many myths, despite how famous they are. One of the earliest texts about the phoenix described it as, be as a being that lives hundreds of times longer than humans do. But besides that, there aren't really any stories featuring phoenixes. Also, according to Greek scholars, phoenixes come from Egyptian mythology, with many scholars at the time writing about how in Egypt a bird would come in every 500 years and die, much like a phoenix. However, most people nowadays think that what they were describing in those texts was actually the Egyptian god known as Binu, with the current theory being that the phoenix was based on Binu, and later Greek scholars thought that it was the other way around than when they themselves saw pictures of, the, of Binu. Also, just like griffins, phoenixes ended up becoming really popular during medieval times, where it was used as a symbol of immortality. I find it personally interesting how little was actually written about phoenixes in mythology, and yet they are still a very famous creature in spite of that. Now here's Vincent. The humble phoenix is such a pretty bird to watch, and he's pretty kind too. He often perches near trees, and despite being on fire, he almost never actually ignites anything when he lands. It's quite fascinating to watch. In fact, you can even touch him without getting burned. I've even pet the phoenix a few times, and he feels nice and warm, not fiery at all. It's quite interesting. Card time. Now, this card has a cool design. I like it. But this card does that thing that a lot of these cards do, and that it makes a claim that I can't find anywhere else. It claims that phoenixes lived exclusively on spices and dew. However, this is something that I cannot actually find a source for. I've looked through several phoenix stories, but I cannot find anything. The closest comes from Dante's Inferno, where at one point he says that phoenixes live off of scents, but not spices and dew. So, what is their source here? And just in case you were wondering, I also looked up the Chinese equivalent to the phoenix, but it doesn't say anything about that there either. So what is their source? I give this card a 9 out of 10 due to that weird unsourced claim that I cannot find any proof of. Now let's look at some appearances of phoenix in popular culture. Phoenixes show up in Harry Potter, My Little Pony, Dungeons and Dragons... In Disney's Fantasia 2000s, there's a segment where a phoenix completely destroys a forest. In the TV show Supernatural, phoenixes are... human. Uh -huh. The Pokemon series has two Pokemon based off of phoenixes, that, those being Moltres and Ho-Oh. And finally, phoenixes show up in Ark Survival of All, baby! I will never stop talking about this series! This series is unavoidable, I swear. <laughs> That's all for this episode of Monsters of the Mind. Join us next time when we... Wait. What are we doing next time? Oh, no. No, 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 no. Anything but this topic. Do I really have to talk about this? <sighs> Fine. Join us next time when we talk about the possibility that a certain group of animals didn't actually die out. I'm not looking forward to this video. Bye.